It is that time of the year where grade nine parents and learners, they are expected to select subjects for grade 10. I wish to express warm greetings to all the parents and learners. We have decided as the school management team to offer a virtual online selection of subjects through presentations that will be done by the school management and various teachers in grade 10. This is the time to make the right choice. Grade nine is an important year in the life of every learner in the Republic of South Africa. Your choice will depend on subjects offered in grade 10. The school has a wide range of subjects. A total of 23 subjects in grade 10 to 12 will be introducing a 24th subject, which I will outline when I indicate the number of subjects we have in the school. The subject choices determine career path. A learner may need to complete a degree, higher certificate, or a national diploma. I wish to offer career advice to parents and the learners. Before deciding on any subject, to take in grade 10. First, you must do research on careers, various careers, universities, colleges, flexibility, affordability. Also follow your heart when choosing the subjects. Do not uh, follow your friends. Parents must also not put pressure on the learners. We need to also ensure that you don't let anything stand in your way. But the perfect choice to make is that you need to follow your heart when choosing subjects in grade 10. For you to pass to grade 10, there are requirements. The pass requirements are as follow. Home language must be at 50% at the end of the year. The first additional language must be at 40%. Mathematics must be at 40% three subjects at 30% and two subjects at 40%. You may uh, fail one subject, although it is not advisable to do so. Compulsory subjects in grade 10 include English home language or Africans home language, life orientation. Then you may choose between first additional Africans, Isi Zulu, or English. Mathematics is compulsory or you may take mathematical literacy. Subject packages of Mpagan High School are divided into four lines. Line one, it is mathematics or mathematical literacy. On line two, where you need to select one subject it is business studies, physical sciences, music, life sciences, or tourism. You may select one subject on this list. Line three, subject packages have accounting, visual arts, CAT or computer applied technology, applications technology, EGT, history, music. On line four, subject packages, we have consumer studies, geography, information technology or IT, life sciences, music, mechanical technology, drama, and I must indicate that we have applied to the Department of Education for the introduction of maritime sciences which will be online four. The minimum requirements in grade 12, this is very important that you know because it will, in, it will influence the subjects that we have selected. A minimum of 40% in three subjects, one must be home language, minimum of 30% for other three subjects. The requirements for bachelor pass, home language, 
at 40 percent four subjects within level four 50 to 59 percent except in life orientation which subject do you need for career choices that are offered in universities the educators will give a broader outline on various subjects but you need music visual arts for the arts and culture section human and social studies you need geography history and life orientation and for services you need consumer studies economic and management sciences become degrees you need accounting business studies mathematics and CAT also comes in handy, EGT, physical sciences, life sciences, EGT, IT, mechanical technology, physical sciences, mathematics. These are subjects that falls under engineering and also biological sciences. We also have BSc degrees, computer science, environmental sciences, biological sciences, physical sciences, quantity surveying, town planning, and we also have BSc mathematics, BSc physical sciences. This will require dedication and hard work. Thank you. Greetings, grade nine. My name is Mrs. Fairfeld. I'm the head of department, commerce, and I've been teaching accounting for 22 years at Impagini High School. My name is Mr. Marconi, and I'm the subject head for accounting, and this is my fifth year here at Impagini High School. And I must just add, for the last decade, Mr. Marconi, we've yes. had 100% pass, pass rate at our school and many, many distinctions. So you are in safe hands. And therefore, I want to assure you that whatever happened now in 2020, you don't need to worry one bit. When you take accounting next year in 2021, all the work that you have done in grade nine, we do revise all the work. So there's no need to worry about anything. Right. Um, we are having different job opportunities that you can pursue in accounting. That can range from becoming a financial accountant, you can get you can get into cost accounting, you can get into auditing, tax accounting. The range is limitless. There are a lot of job opportunities in accounting that you can pursue. We also need to assure you that we need our learners to be computer literate in accounting. So as part of our vision in the subject, from next year, we are going to introduce pastel accounting that you guys, you can pursue. And it is when you live Embang in high school, we want you guys to be able to fit into the job industry quite well. Right, and since I'm dealing with tertiary institutions as well, I want to advise you that most courses that you will be pursuing after matric require one semester of accounting. So this will give you an advantage if you take accounting as a subject at Impangini High School. And Makoni, did we mention that we are the best in the district? We did it. We had forgotten. We are the best. We have been receiving computers every year. Every year we've been receiving laptops because you guys, you always make us proud. Yes, that is true. And we rely on you to take accounting next year in 2021. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings to our grade nine learners and our grade nine parents. I'm Ms. Matondo from Impangin High School, and I'm here to encourage our grade nine learners to take business studies. We have a lot of career opportunities as well if you take business studies. For example, you can be a business analyst, you can venture into commercial law, actuarial science, a chartered accountant, or a, an economist. But then obviously you have to merge business studies with other subjects that are also offered at the school. It can be maths and business studies, it can be accounting and business studies. 
In business studies, we deal with identifying business opportunities, dealing with challenges that you can encounter as a business, and also identifying your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats. I encourage your grade nine learners to take business studies as a subject because we want to cultivate and we want to produce strong independent learners who can go out into the world, be good entrepreneurs, eliminate this high unemployment rate that we have in South Africa. Thank you very much. Good morning, I'm Mrs. Wade from Mpangeni High School. I'm teaching the learners CAT or Computer Applications Technology, where we teach them how to use computers. And the subject is divided into two sections, hardware, software and theory on the one side and practicals on the other side. So for theory, we teach them hardware and software. We teach them network technologies and system technologies. We teach them how to use the computers in a safe way and then also how to protect themselves from, from computer crime, social bullying, and how to use digital platforms. Then practicals, we try to make them proficient users of the Microsoft Office package, Office Suite, teach them how to use Word, and Excel, MS Access databases, a little bit of HTML coding so they can develop a website, a basic website, and then also PowerPoint, how to make them efficient users of PowerPoint so that they can be a valuable member in the working area of the school. So CAT is actually a life skill. And if I had anything to do with it, I would have said that every learner in school needs to be exposed to a subject like CAT to make them aware of packages and solutions and how, how to think a little bit analytical in the work area and after school as well. It's a life skill that will teach them how to go into the work environment. Thank you for watching the video and I hope I see you next year in my classroom. Good day, I'm Mrs. Kuhn. I'm the consumer study teacher at Mpangeni High School and I would like to tell you more about my wonderful subject. Consumer studies focus mainly on the developing of skills, knowledge, uh, attitudes and values to become informed and responsible consumers. Then of course we are doing practical where the theory is applied to produce quality and marketable products while working individually. I would like to mention a few uh, job opportunities, consumer services and event management, dietitian, interior design, hospitality studies, and then of course teacher or lecturer in consumer studies. Consumer studies is a life skill. You will definitely use the skills in your everyday life. Remember, you don't have to take consumer studies solely to enter a job opportunity. You can take consumer studies because it will help you in your everyday life. And most of all, it is fun. Thank you very much for watching the video and I really hope I'm going to see you all next year in my class. Have you always dreamt of sharing the stage with one of your most favorite or brilliant actors and actresses? Or maybe have you always wanted to become a movie star? Or have you always wanted to be on television, becoming a TV personality, a radio broadcaster? Or have you always had interest in working behind the scenes, directing, um, being a costume designer, a makeup artist, or a technical manager. Or maybe you are a shy person and you've always wanted to come out of yourself and flap those beautiful wings and become your best self. Well, if that is you, dramatic art is just the subject for you. My name is Ms. Bogazi and I am the dramatic art teacher at Mpangeni High School. It's a very exciting subject that I can promise you if you decide to take dramatic arts, you will never regret your decision. Well, even if you don't pursue a career in the arts or in performance, but the skills that you learn in the subjects, 
They are the type of the skills that are going to assist you in all the areas of your life. The subject is both a theory and a practical base subject. Uh, we study the history of the development of theatre through the ages, from Western theatre to South African theatre, and we incorporate that in order to produce uh, or to perform practicals. If you decide to take the subject, I want to promise you that you will not regret your decision. What can you obtain or what can you gain? What can you benefit from the subject? As I said to you earlier that the subject will provide you with skills that you will need for the rest of your life. Thank you. My name is Mr. Van der Berg and I'm the subject head for EGD and mechanical technology. Drawings has been used for a long time to communicate over different languages, ideas and designs used with standard drawings. So in EGD we'll teach you basic knowledge of various drawing techniques so that EGD learners will be able to interpret and produce drawings within the contexts of mechanical technology, civil technology and electrical technology. Careers that you can pursue after school includes architecture, most of the engineering fields, medical technician, interior design, city planner, jewelry design and much more. You will need the following equipment. You'll need two flip files, a A3 drawing board and a T-square, a drawing pencil, eraser, ruler, 30-60 degree set square, 45 degree set square, a drawing compass and a protractor and a calculator. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mr. Mbaiwa, and I'm a geography educator here at Embangin High School. Geography is both a science and a humanity subject because it deals with the state of the earth and man's relationship with his environment. It can be divided into two parts. We have got the physical part and the human part. When in grade 10, under the physical part, we will study about the atmosphere, the climate, oceans, and landforms which surround us. Under the human part, we study about the people, how they interact with each other, their culture, and their migrations. There are quite a number of career opportunities that you can find after studying geography, you may decide to be an architecture, a climatologist, whereby you start about the climate, a meteorologist. You can even be a lawyer because we've got environmental lawyers through the study of geography. Some may even venture into being pilots. Geography will help you because we study about maps, calculating magnetic declaration, gradient, all those aspects are needed by pilots. As a word of advice, if you want to excel in life, take geography as a subject because it will open career opportunities for you. I thank you. Greetings to the school principal, members of the SMT, members of staff, parents at home, learners at home. Uh, my name is Mr. Jangaza, the head of Department of Humanities, uh, currently the subject head of history. My responsibility here is to let you know about the things that we do in grade 10. First term, we deal with the empires, the Songhai Empire and the Mughal Empire. In term 2, we deal with the French Revolution and the transformation in the Southern Africa. Then in term 3, we deal with the colonial expansion where we touch uh, the issues of Dutch, and the British, their arrival in South Africa. Then we also deal with the South African War, of which it was well known as the anglo Boer War. Then in term four, it's where we deal with uh, the revision in general so that our learners can be equipped and reminded of everything that we've learned about the whole year. Then the possible careers that our learners can uh, actually take after studying history. You can become a lawyer, a journalist, a history teacher, a political analyst, a politician, an archaeologist, a political analyst. Uh, uh, there are quite a number of uh, careers. I hope that you have enjoyed watching the video and you are adapting to the new normal. You must wear a mask, 
social distance, sanitize, and stay safe. Thank you very much. Greetings grade nines and parents. I am Mr. Kronier. I'm the IT teacher of Empagini High School. In IT, we've got two main parts. The one is the practical component, the other one is the theory component. In our practical component, we are taught Delphi, but we don't focus on Delphi as such. Our main aim is actually to focus on algorithms and problem solving and to teach the learners critical thinking and how to approach problems and how to solve problems in everyday life. The next part, our theory component, has got four pieces. We're doing hardware, software, networking and social issues. And then careers. Careers for IT would be a big advantage for anybody going into the engineering fields. It really assists them because they've got a programming component when they study engineering. But all other careers would actually benefit from IT in that IT is involved in all the careers we are involved with every day. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you next year in my class. Good day. I am Mrs. A. Naya. I'm a life science teacher at Empangeni High School. Uh, our school comprises of six life science educators, uh, all of whom are very dedicated, very passionate about our subject. This subject is taught on two lines. Uh, we have uh, life science on line four and we have life science on line two. What is life science about? Life science is a subject that deals with the environment and all its living things. We learn about all living things such as microorganisms, plants and animals, including humans. It's a section that also deals with how we humans are impacting the environment. And what effect is this going to have on the future generations? Is there going to be sustainability? Now, this section, uh, especially on human impact, is included in detail in grade 11 and 12. It's to enlighten you about what effect we are having on the environment so that you can perhaps make a difference someday. Now, what can you actually use life science for? Life science can be used for, to further your studies after school. There are many career pathways that you can take. For example, I'll just give you a few. You can uh, decide if you decide to study medicine, genetics, uh, microbiology, zoology, botany. Uh, these are just some of the many fields. So the subject gives you quite an opportunity to choose various careers. The subject is going to really help you to broaden your knowledge about all living things and also help you to gain an appreciation, an immense appreciation for the life around you and for all living things. The journey to understanding life begins here. I wish you all the best in your choice, hoping that you are going to choose life science as a subject. Good day, I am Mr. Fenter and I teach marine sciences. Marine sciences is a study of the oceans. It combines direct observation of the oceans with a systematic search for understanding of the processes that control it. Marine scientists are explorers as well as scientists because most of the ocean is unexplored. In marine sciences, there are four aspects. Oceanography, which is a study, study the geology, geography, chemistry, and physics of the ocean. Marine biology, that studies all the living organisms that live in and around the oceans. Ecology, which explores the ecosystems such as rocky shores, scalp forests, and sandy beaches. Humans and the ocean, which highlights the harvesting of renewable and non-renewable ocean resources, um, researchers, marine protected areas, and the importance of ocean research. The different careers that you can do with marine sciences include oceanographers, marine biologists, marine engineers, environmental lawyers, and many more. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you next year. First, mathematical literacy is not a substitute for maths. It is a subject on its own, which has its own basics different from maths. It teaches you how to be an entrepreneur, where you can run your own things. If you miss the basics in grade 10, it will be difficult to cope. 
Don't come to Mets Lit because you are failing Mets. Come because you like Mets Lit. If you want to be flexible in the choices you make at the university, make sure you get level five and above. That is 60% upwards. Mets Lit is not for slow learners. It's for those learners who are also intelligent. For example, if you look at last year's best student, it was Novuyo Madela, who came from mathematical literacy. Don't force yourself to get into a subject where you feel you don't have strengths in that particular subject. Your level four, if you obtain level fours, would land you in diplomas and certificates and not degrees. Areas you can choose include law, BSc physiotherapy, I mean if you excel in mathematical literacy from level five upwards. Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Agriculture, Bachelor of Commerce, Bachelor of Clinical Medical Practice, and many more. We will welcome you with open arms, but don't think you are coming to relax, but you are coming to work hard. Your English should be perfect because you are asked to change statements to figures. On this note, I want to tell you that be in control of your destiny. Don't be influenced by peers. Make the right choices and have a strong foundation in your academic life. I wish you the best in grade 10. I thank you. Greetings grade nines and parents. I am Mr. Cronier, the HOD of Mathematical Sciences, and I'm going to discuss the subject Math Score. In Maths, we've got seven qualified educators that are specialists in their field. In Maths, we don't focus on numbers only, but our educators try to teach the learners problem-solving techniques so that they can solve more than just the numbers that's in front of them, but also the steps as how to attempt to solve these problems. In Maths, Maths is a requirement for variety of career fields and qualifications in degrees, like in the Commerce Department, Sciences, all of them, maths is a requirement to have to go study in those areas. And then also if the learner is interested in becoming an artisan, maths is also a requirement for all artisans, from plumbers, electricians, and they, they need to have maths score. Thank you very much for considering the subject. I hope to see you next year. For the purpose of this conversation, I'll take off my mask. Hello, Marcel, South Africans. I'm a CEO Bell. I'm a teacher here at Mpanguni High School since 1983. Uh, I'm teaching mechanical technology. The subject consists out of uh, theory part plus well as the practical part. The practical part uh, counts 25% at the end of the year and the rest uh, 75, the exams plus the theory. Uh, in order for you to take this subject, uh, you need to have uh, uh, graphic design plus uh, ordinary maths. You can't have that lit, uh, because there's a lot of calculations. With this subject, you can either go into the industry to become a tradesman like a fitter, uh, or a fitter machinist, or a turner, or you can go further, you can become a technician, uh, or it can eventually become an engineer. The sky is the limit in the technical field. There will always be work for you as long as you work with your hands. Thank you for watching this short little video. I hope we enlightened you a little bit. Uh, see forward to, to make friends and uh, teach some of you guys. Have a nice day and stay safe. Good day. I am Renee Pretorius. I am the cultural head at Impongeni High School. Impongeni High School is the only school in the area offering music as an examination subject. The subject covers three main areas, namely music history, music theory, music practical. Music theory I can describe as the brain of the subject while the practical forms the heart of the subject. Music theory is academically quite challenging 
Therefore, we require some knowledge of the theory before grade 10. The practical part of music is also challenging, but so much fun and so rewarding. We teach a wide variety of instruments like saxophone, clarinet, trumpet, piano, flute, singing and many more. And we are so privileged to provide individual teaching in these instruments. But parents must all also realize that it limits the numbers that we can take. What are the benefits of taking music? Firstly, it integrates all parts of your brain, the left, the right, the center. And it also is a highly acclaimed subject with a strong academic and creative weighting. Our music department always produces good results in the grade 12 final exam, 100% pass rate since it's a, whenever since its existence, and of course the substantial number of A symbols each year. And of course music parts the way for job opportunities in the music industry. One of our ex-scholars became an acclaimed conductor, one was contracted to sing in operas all over Europe, and another one had a lead role in the production of Lion King in Hong Kong. And a few has reached the semi-finals of Idol's essay, to name just a few of our achievements. All in all, I can tell parents music will teach your child not only dedication, but also creativeness. Greetings, great nine learners and parents. I am Mr. So Bilane, teacher at Timpangan High School, offering physical sciences grade 10 to 12. Um, there is four of us offering physical sciences, that is Mr. Chimanga, the subject head, Mr. Pasau, and Mrs. Ibarra, and myself. Um, so I'm here to explain as to why Elena must choose physical sciences or what is physical sciences, what are the benefits or the advantages of choosing physical sciences. Now, first and foremost, uh, what is physical sciences? It is, it is um, a subject that investigates the physical and the chemical phenomena. That is done through the scientific inquiry, application of um, the scientific um, models, the theories and laws which explain and predict the events in the physical environment. So basically physical sciences is divided into two, that is chemistry part and physics part. Um, now the careers, um, the career op opportunities that the learner can have if they choose physical sciences it's in, in, in engineering, there is a wide range of engineering, natural sciences, a wide range of it, um, and um, information, communication and technology, and then the last one is in medicine. So there is a wide range of that. Uh, but what is most important is that a learner from grade 9 must at least achieve a level 5 in mathematics in order for them to, to choose physical sciences. Why mathematics? Because physical sciences correlate with mathematics, it deals with numbers. And there is also the practicals, as I've mentioned, that there is chemistry. Therefore, a learner must be a critical thinker, be good in numbers, and choosing physical sciences will give you different skills, the problem-solving skill, um, the analytical skill, and the communication skills. Thank you. Good day. I am Mrs. Somna, and I teach a very exciting and interesting subject called tourism. Tourism is a newly introduced subject at Mpangeni High and has become a vital part of our learning package. In 2019, travel and tourism in South Africa contributed to 1.5 million job opportunities and 450 billion rand to the country's economy, making South Africa the largest tourism economy in Africa. These figures indicate that tourism is a significantly relevant subject in our country today. After matric, our learners have a wide variety of career, study and employment opportunities in the tourism field. We start in our own country and move through all the provinces in South Africa until learners have a broad picture of the country South Africa as a whole. We then move to the continent of Africa, 
where we look at countries such as Mozambique, Namibia, Botswana, and Egypt. Thereafter, we move to international countries and study the splendor of global icons such as the Eiffel Tower, Taj Mahal, Great Wall of China, the Pyramids, and many more. In order to fully understand and appreciate the subject, learners have the opportunity to undertake an overnight tour to Shakaland, a Zulu cultural village in the foothills of KwaZulu-Natal. This is just a snapshot of the treasure chest that is tourism. So pack your bags and journey with us and discover the awe, the splendor, the wonder and the beauty of the subject tourism. Uh, good day uh, parents and children. Uh, I'm uh, Mr. Zulu teaching here at Timpangeni High School. I'm teaching visual arts. Uh, I've been teaching for quite some time here, but I, I think I started here in 2014 uh, up to now. Visual arts uh, is uh, an art uh, subject that is more concerned with the uh, creativity. Uh, and uh, under visual arts, we do certain sections. Uh, we do painting, drawing, sculpture, and printing. Visual arts is very important uh, because it is uh, about creativity. We encourage uh, students here in this particular subject to be as creative as possible. And uh, that is why you'll find that uh, students that are taking visual arts, you know, with other subjects, it might be a little bit boring, but uh, here, because those kids are talented, they actually uh, find it very pleasing uh, to do visual arts because it's something that they like and something that they're passionate about. A student that has done visual arts can go and do quite a number of uh, uh, professions. Uh, quite a number of careers are available, but I'll just uh, mention a few. Uh, a student that has done visual arts can do fashion designing, uh, can also be a sculptor, can be an architect, and can be an artist. Uh, that is, uh, he can be concerned with drawing, painting, portraits, etc., etc. Thank you for watching the video and hope to see you next year when you come and uh, do visual arts here at Pangani High School. Thank you.